Let me tell you what's so gangsters keep me alive Let me tell you who is gangster, his name Jesus Let me tell you what's not gangster, your amnesia Let me tell you what's gangsters, the most high Let me tell you what's so gangsters keep me alive Let me tell you who is gangster, his name Jesus And let me tell you what's not gangster, your amnesia It's your amnesia that got you so lost in your ways It's your amnesia that got you shortening all of your days I ain't worrying about the brother cause he talking crazy He talking foolishness, I'm just trying to pave the way A brother told me he won't listen to what I say Because he know I drink and smoke, that needs to change Just focus on the message, not the messenger I'm just uplifting Jesus, not that money God blur Never said that hey, What name of this show? I Talk Great I Talk Great Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Williams. I talk great, and I'm in the building. Are we live? Are we live? Man, I'm here with yes, my boy, sir. Stack Smith. How you yes, doing, sir. man? How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good, brother. I'm doing good, brother. It's good to have you in the building. Oh, man, I'm so glad to be here. Appreciate it. No, of course. I see you came bling blinging. A little something, man. A little <laughs> something, you know. A little something. That's what's up, man. Yo, oh, man, hold on. Before we get started, man, RIP to Jerry Springer. Oh yeah, that was man. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are we, you we, the father? We we grew up on that. We yes. grew up on that. We grew up on that, and that's yeah, crazy, you know, he man. he really did put a, a real dent in the legacy, though, as far as yeah, uh, our generation. Trust me. Yeah, I had to uh, give my daughter a DNA test. You know, <laughs> she came out looking like a Chinese. I like, Who oh is this? lord, <laughs> everything turned out good though. Nah, trust, trust. You. Yeah, she came back ninety nine 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 point nine percent. That's what it's about. Though. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. So how'd you get the name Stack Smith? Let me tell you what's so funny. Um, I got that name from a from a neighborhood friend, um, uh -huh. one of my bigger brothers. And um, because I play college football, high school football, okay. I had a little stack from working out. Yeah. So they used to call me Little Stack House. So before you know it, the name stuck on me, and then I just put the Smith behind it to make it certified when I started doing the rap thing and took it a little bit more seriously. Uh-huh. So... And then before you know it, everybody called me Stack, and that was it. Okay, okay. Where you from, though? Uh, I'm from over there by, um, I'm from Miami. Okay, you from the crib? Yeah, I'm, I'm born okay, and raised. Okay, 305 in the Yes, sir, yes, sir. Um, my mom and dad Jamaican. Okay, so you got so, a little yachty in you. Yeah, I look assault. Okay, see all right. You see me? Yeah, but um, boop, boop. with that being said, um, yeah, born and raised in Miami, and um, it's a lot of legends that I look up to, watch them boys do their thing, and yeah. just want to, Come up in my own thing and stay in my own lane. Okay, okay, no, that's what's up, Max. So, so I heard you said you was playing football. Yeah, I played high school football. I played ball in um at High Leah. Uh -huh. I ran track for Miami Central. Okay, and um then I ended up going to college. Then came back and um really got started on that. Uh, the football was good. So you went to college with it? Yeah, I went to college. I went to a uh, college, a junior college in California. Called Yuba. Okay. I was out there for two years, graduated, got my AA, transferred back. I was supposed to go to UM. Okay. But um, around that time, everybody was running off of the scholarship thing. So yeah. I ended up going to Carson Newman, went out there, played a little ball, and then um, it didn't work out. And I ended up coming back home, becoming a father, getting me a job. So what happened? You, you, you can't just skip past that. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, with that being said, I was out there playing ball, uh, uh -huh. keep returning. Um, Cornerback. Okay. And um, I ended up getting a DUI. Damn. Yeah, it, we we was practicing. It was, it was turned up, huh? Listen, we ain't even we ain't even start the season yet with the school. Uh, I was working out. We went did up went to a little club party on our way back. The funny part was, um, man, you brought it up too. The funny part was coming back. Uh -huh. I wasn't even drunk or intoxicated. Did um, you do the breath or did you did they make you blow? I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> I'm coming back up, me and uh, one of my teammates. I make a left turn. He's coming down here because, you know, I was in Carson Newman is in Tennessee in Jefferson City. Okay. So while I'm coming up here, he coming down. And by the time I made that turn, I kind of turned in the lane coming up. So he used that as an excuse, turned around, followed behind me, got down the street, pulled me over. Uh, I said, how you doing, officer? He said, hey, no problem. I see you, you kind of cutting my lane, making a left turn. I said, I apologize. You know, we're just heading home. Mm -hmm. He was like, uh, have you been having any drinks? I said, being honest, I was like, I had a, a couple beers early. I was at my girl house or whatever. We vibed a little bit, and I'm just okay. heading home. Okay. 
trying to be honest. Yeah. The fact that he was a young officer, he was trying to earn his stripes. Ah, okay. He was a rookie. Yes. So he made me get out the car, walk the line, do all that. And I did everything he asked me to do. And the the sad part was. You you did the line? Everything. He He said, well, um. How about I take you down to the to the police station and draw blood? I was like, "What? Hey, listen, if you have a breathalyzer, I'll blow in that. But yeah. you drawing blood and and where I'm at, yeah. nah, nah, I ain't <laughs> trusting that. You know what I'm saying? So right. I told him no. He told my car, put me in the back of the police car. A, um, African American officer pulled up. Wow. So when he pulled up, I'm I'm in the back seat of the car, pleading with him, like, "Yeah, a man, sambo. Uh, what, what, you know, uh, hey, boss." You know, I did everything he asked me to do. I was yeah. respectful of everything. Like, what's going on? Like, he can't. I'm right down the street. I'm literally four minutes away from the house. Yeah. The sad part was that that officer lived in my same apartment complex. Wow. Yeah. But with that being said. That's crazy. With that being said, um, I was all patient. I remember dropping my head in the backseat of that police car. Uh-huh. And say, Lord, please get this, this one. Please. Did you get out? He took me to jail. So when, when he took me to jail, I messed around and called him every name in the book. I ain't gonna lie, all that, all that, all that mercy <laughs> and patience went out the door. I, I was like, man, man, white boy, this and that, that, that certain you things I ain't gonna even, <laughs> I, yeah, I ain't even gonna say what I said. But, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But look how, look how God worked on me. So fast forward, it's the court date time now. Mm-hmm. I'm in Tennessee in college. Mm-hmm. I called my pops. Dad, send me some money. He like, uh, what happened? Man, this officer pulled me over. Pump, he hung up the phone on me. I'm up there by myself. I look on the wall. It say, Black Jack. So I called the number. Cause mm-hmm. it say Black Jack. Cause at this point in time, I'm being honest with you. When I did that, and the officer took me to jail, that's when I really said, man, I don't like no white people. I hate them all. They nasty. I don't trust them. I don't like them. Uh huh. But look how God worked though. When I called the number on Black Jack, mm-hmm. cause it said Black Jack, I just assumed he was a black person. Called yeah. him. The guy answered the phone. I say, look, man, I'm in college. Uh, I just got my little student loan money. I got enough money to bond out, man. Please get okay, me Okay, so that was the bond, the, the jack. Okay, all right, go ahead. So by the time I called him, he came. He's a white guy. Got me out off my word. Bond okay. me out off my word. Okay. Took me to Waffle House and took me where my car got impounded at. Wow. You know, sometimes it be like that. It be them who, you know, will help you out. Exactly. And be the brothers. It's like that slave mentality still exists in us, man. It's crazy. Yeah, but I, what I love about the the Most High is just that fast when he when he seen my heart, how I was upset. Uh-huh. He he just showed me how we still got good people out here in all colors and races. So no, facts, facts. Just moving forward, that was a scenario with that. And then after um, I went to court, and um, the officer tried to play that part or the verbal part when I was in the back of the police car to persuade a judge. Ah, uh-huh. and the judge heard it. And when 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 he played it, I just dropped my head in the courthouse. Like, damn, I'm through. <laughs> the, officer, the judge looked at he me. Really and he said, "Look at you." He said, "Nah, you know what? Um, after looking at the video, you did what you were supposed to do, and um, I think you shouldn't have been arrested. But at the same time, um, I think you should wash your mind out with soap." <laughs> and he spared me. He he dismissed the case. Okay. So so you don't have it on your record. Nah, I got I got CDLs because of that judge okay, spared me, brother. and yeah, I yeah. I wasn't drunk, but just. Just to, to round it up, that was one of the times when God showed me favor and showed me that um, it's still good people out here. So okay, with that being so, said, brother. just moving forward, that's when my eyes really start opening. Yeah. Yeah. So did you quit alcohol? I thought I saw that on your page. Yes, I actually did. So you don't did. drink at all? Nah, no more. Listen. That's what's up. I, listen, let me tell you something. People that know me, and it'll be funny, the ones that do know me, maybe I'll get in the comments and let you know. Like, I, I, I ain't play. Like, I, I, bottles, Remy, all that. We, we went hard. Yeah. You know, it been issues and scenarios and a long story, but a true story. So with this one turning 40 and um, because I got something to prove, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to be full focus. And every time I wanted to do something, if it was a favorite car I wanted when I was younger or uh, when I wanted to get a house or do this and do that, I always say I'm going to take time out and sacrifice and do this and don't do this. And he always reward me. So okay. with what I'm trying to do now, it take a lot of discipline and sacrifice. So I'm willing to do that right now. That's what's up, brother. Yeah. Power to you. Appreciate it. So what started your journey into hip-hop? Um, man, I always loved hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? Tupac. Okay. Biggie. Um, hey, baby, baby. Ross. Um, yeah, Ross, shout out. You know, 
them boys, you know, uh, a lot of a lot of trick, you know, all them boys, man. I, uh-huh. I was raised on the JT money, you know what I'm saying. Okay. I was raised on them gangsters now, you all know, right. okay, from the crib and um, yeah, Bob Marley, Buja Bunton, all the the uh, reggae artists okay. that that I got much yeah, respect for. Him. Yes, 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 yes. And uh, with that being said, man, I always love music, so. I always did my thing. We recorded. Once I got a little older in college, came back from college, I went and bought me some studio equipment. Okay. We uh, we You've I been got doing studio, it for a minute now. Yeah, we had studio equipment at the house, man. I've been recording. So Sneaky. when did you know you was ready? Let me tell you when I knew I was ready. When um, I started performing in the clubs. Okay. And people was really liking the music, and I was like, uh-huh. okay, okay, it's time to take it there. But yeah. the funny part was. I always knew I wanted to do gospel, but I thought I was going to do some rap first mm-hmm. and prove a point. Cause I said, man, let me prove a point and let them know I could spit though on the streets. I, I could get on y'all level. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But yeah. for some reason I recorded music, get it ready. But when it was time to release it, I just never got around to the releasing part. So I said, you know what? It might be a reason. It might be a sign or whatever. So mm-hmm. I just, I just let it play itself out. And then, when I said, you know what, my I'm getting older, my parents getting older, I still got something to prove. So I went ahead and um got ready on that level and um started recording my music. I got some music. Like what's funny, this single that I'm dropping, I made this 2013. 2013? Yeah. Okay. But the problem was I ain't wanna scratch the fence. Yeah. I ain't wanna put out no gospel music and um Were you so, afraid? I was afraid of being discredited, being discredited. Okay. And at the same time, I, I I just wanted to please the most high. You know what I'm saying? If you do it, yeah. you do it right. And I want to do it right. So that was the okay. reason of the delay. And just like fine wine, it's better with time. So facts, facts. I just went ahead and um got all my got got all got all my my fun out. So now I okay. can I can stand up as a man and do what I post. You evolved. To. Yes, yes, definitely. And I, I want to be a role model. Um, I, I want to represent accordingly. I like that, man. We need some of that out here now. Because this music nowadays, I don't know, brother. Like It's it's great. definitely not the same from when we came up. Yeah, you know? nah. Um, my, my daughters, them, wouldn't even understand that the way we was raised and all that. They, yeah. they, they was blessed with it being a little bit more fortunate than we was. But, um, but at the same time, I still try to put in that old school structure and doctrine. Okay. Because that's what gonna make them last for the long time and and represent accordingly. Yeah. You know? Timeless. Yeah. Okay. So May fifth, you're dropping your new single, "The Most High." What inspired that single? Um. Oh man. Um. It's a long time coming. Um. And it's funny. I'm glad you brought that up because that specific song in the first verse, that was one of the reasons why I stopped drinking. Cause okay. I was drinking and smoking and we vibing and sometimes we could be vibing and talking about everything from the club and sports. And it was one point in time for whatever reason, he, the most high came up and I'm talking about God and it sound good. But then a dude that I grew up with was like, yeah, this, that, and the third, but I ain't listening to you. I said, why? Cause you drinking smoke. I was like, Oh, okay. Nah, so he thought you was a hypocrite. Exactly. Uh-huh. And I took that seriously. And okay. he probably don't even know that that later on that day when I was in, I went back in the house, cut on the computer, cut on the studio. Yeah. And I dropped it. I wrote it and I dropped it. And when I dropped it, I was thinking about him the whole time when I was spitting <laughs> it. Like, <laughs> I'm going to show you this time. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Since if this would it take to get you to understand that the God is real. Yeah. I stopped drinking and smoking. To prove okay. that point. That's what's up, man. Yeah. So, so is Jesus really gangster? Oh, yeah. He's certified, too. You don't play no games. Cause let me tell you something. God is real. And Facts. um people think that God is so nice and oh, he's also forgiving. Listen, he's an awesome God, but you can't play with him though. You know what I'm saying? He gonna yeah. spare you, and he spared me a long time. You know what I'm saying? But always remember, if you ain't staying prayed up, your well gonna start running dry. It's just like a bulletproof vest, or it's just like layers. Yeah. The more you prayed up, the more layers you have a defense. To keep the haters off you, to keep the enemy off you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the less you start slacking, maybe a month, two, three, four months, that layer done got thinner. Till before you know it, you being they they can hit you now. 
You know yeah. what I'm saying? Them, yeah. them bad vibes and the people that's wishing bad upon you. You know how much people wish bad upon us when we out here trying to just do right? No, or, 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 or jealousy and envy. Yeah. Those are the worst things in people. But once they understand that God is real, they hard to get better. They movement to get better. Their yeah. behavior will get better. And yeah. it all come with time. Nothing change overnight. And even to, for me, I, I, every day, every day I got to remember to arm up and then just move all my day that way. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. And that's what it was. Like, I wanted to, I tried this time, like, I, let me tell you something. Kanye West got a lot of stuff he had going on. I get it. But um, it's some stuff that he did that really inspired me. As far as Jesus okay. Walk, I, I never forget the day I heard Jesus walk in the club. Now, that was a banger. And I was on South Beach, and I, and I yeah. looked at the crowd and seen everybody. You wouldn't think you could hear that in the club. Exactly. <laughs> but it was So when he club. did that, I was like, I want to do that. Yeah. So Okay. Yeah. Now, shout out to Yeezy. Yeah, shout out to that man. Now. Okay, so you got something for us? You gonna spit something? Oh man, whenever you ready, let me know. What's up, man? Let me hear something real quick. Okay, check this out. <laughs> we gonna pull it back. February twelfth when I been when I wait 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 wait. wait. Okay, we gonna run it back real quick. Let's go. February 12th, when I got baptized, that's the day the Lord opened my eyes. Went down in the water in the name of Jesus. Gino Genesis, apostle, teacher. One day, God willing, I'll be a preacher. Okay, okay. <sighs> Hello, <y> all. <laughs> all right, our boy got bars. Ten toes down, standing on God business. Witnessing how God move, I hope y'all in it. Ripping to the Lord and avoid all sinning. Once I realized I could do nothing without you. With true faith, Lord, I never ever doubt you. Lord, never late. Jesus always on time. If I'm never rich, I'll be just fine. No more moonwalking, backsliding. Praise Osana for providing. All right. I serve you, Lord, like a way to dining. Let the blessings of the Lord keep shining. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to bring that back real quick. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. That was dope, man. You got some bars. I was listening to your joint last night. Okay. Yeah, you got some bars, man. You was hitting. And I'm just trying to, uh, uh, I want to, uh, listen, I, I got a lot of respect for them boys, Ross, Kodak Black, all them boys. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I like they deliver their style. Yeah. But I want to, I want to be in my lane on that type of season. On that type of vibe, I want to bring that same type of delivery, sauce, all my songs. I want it beaten in the trunk. So I want to get the same vibe, but just some substance. I'm yeah. coming with a little different yeah. substance. No, oh, facts. Yeah. Okay. So walk us through the process of creating your music. Um, Majority of the time, it's it's all reality. It's all stuff that I'm actually living. So it's easier to write. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't telling no lies. I'm telling you exactly what I'm seeing, exactly how I'm feeling. And um, it come naturally like that. Yeah. Okay, okay. So what was your biggest challenge that you faced when you were starting your label? Because I know you got your label, Holy Ghost Music. Yes, Holy Ghost Music, yes. LLC. Yes, sir, yes, sir. What made um, you LLC it, though? Um, a lack of knowledge. Okay. Um, uh, Once I heard the liability part, I was just worrying about not getting sued and stuff like that. But um, okay. I'm going to definitely expand it and do a, a bunch of other things moving forward. It's just at the same time... um. Like I said, uh, Ross was a role model to me. I like how he started his own label, and yeah. he was an artist. And then the same thing with Ye do. Like, I make my own beats. Like, this song that, that's finna come out, I produce oh, so that you, song. So you produce all your own music? Not all of it. Like, okay. I, I, I'm, 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 I, I want to bless a couple other producers. And, um, you, okay. know, you know, so it, it's going to be a mixed variety. But I, I, wanna, I want a piece of that, too. I want to show my talent. I want to show God. Bless me with a couple of different talents, you know what I'm saying, besides driving trucks. Okay, no, no, that's what's up, brother. Okay, so walk us through that process of how you create your music. Um, first of all, um, I got a studio at home. Mm -hmm. So when I come up with the ideas, man, I'm going to tell you what's funny. I'm glad you brought That's a great question, too. Okay, Majority okay. of the time, if I'm at work, or I'm in a truck, or I'm somewhere doing something, if I come up with a hook or a vibe, mm -hmm. I put on my voice recorder and record it. Because sometimes I forget it. I, I, mm. It'll sound so good. I said it seven, 20 times, and then by the time I get in the high, I've been on forgot or something. So yeah, yeah, yeah. now, I, any good ideas I come up with, I record it on my phone, and um, I listen to it in the truck, or come up with a verse in the truck, or, or I do it at home in the studio. So whenever it come up, I make sure I try to grasp it and um, and then put it down, put it on wax. Okay, okay. That's what's up, brother. Yeah. So how are you handling the distribution when it comes to your projects? Um, I went ahead and... um. With my um, shout out to my boy um, Easy Money, uh, he the one um, mixed and mastered the track for me. Okay. And um, 
he don't introduce me to um United Masters and um oh man shout out to Case 100 too man yeah like, shout out to Case he's a, yeah. he's a very good friend of mine and um, legend you know yeah definitely a legend um I watched him coming up and, and do his thing and uh, he even had he even have a um a, a hard little the uh, uh, gospel song he did back in the day. Really? Yeah. It, okay. it's, 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 I got to search for that one. Yeah, it's 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 a little hoodish. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, let me rephrase that. Not hoodish. It's a street gospel song, okay, and it's okay. hard. Okay. It's definitely hard. But um, with that being said, um, yeah, Case, Case, Case was a big role model to me, man. He was the first one in the neighborhood with a uh, trick daddy. Them can't catch me, boy. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Jumping out the trunk, man. Shout out to. Uh, Shout out to my brother, man, Sean Galee, too, man. Um, That's what's up, brother. For him to get well soon. But um, with that being said, though, man, everything been good, man. I can't complain. God is good, man. And um, On facts. Um, it's just fortunate I'm here, man. There's plenty of times I could have died from a car accident, um, doing what I ain't got no business doing. Mm -hmm. Just a lot of stuff, man. And a lot of times we we don't realize how sweet we be having things till it's messed up. No, that's true. Like some people will be in a great position and don't notice until they lost their job or done got locked up. So yeah. it's amazing and awesome when you embrace it and recognize it. Why are you doing good? You know no, what I'm facts. saying? So, you know, I just uh, encourage and recommend that, man. Everybody appreciate every day above ground. Okay, great. So how are you able to praise the most high when things is not going your way? Let me tell you something. Hey, it ain't it ain't hard, man, you know, because... um. Even when you mad, sad, want to cry, you know, you just got to be grateful and just thank him because, you know, he going to fix it. And that's the key of faith. You got to know he going to fix it. Yeah. You can't assume one thing about that spirit of worrying. It's going to come, but you got to know he going to fix it. And with, with, with that type of confidence, it kicked down all doors. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, no facts. So explain how the warning comes before the destruction. Because <sighs> God working mysterious ways. If, um... If it's not a sign, it's a person. Yeah. But majority of the time, it's going to be something. And he's very strategic. strategic. He's going to get your attention. So um, that's another thing. You got, to, you got to be on that type of time. The more you try to keep yourself on that type of zone in that type of time, you'll be able to recognize. Because when you don't, the less you pray, the less you arm up, the less you're going to catch it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So that, those are another um, reasons why to try to stay armored up. Oh, facts and and armored up. Oh yes, most definitely, <laughs> most definitely, most definitely. So how are you gonna stay true to yourself when the rap game is so focused on like trends and you know, um, staying in my Bible. Yeah. You know, as long as I stay in there, let me tell you something, man. I, I I had it so bad from drinking and smoking. I was smoking cigarettes. I was I was all over the really? place. I had it so bad. Listen, I ain't got no shame. Either. I had it so bad. I remember mean, I used to see, hey, let me get a square. That's when you know you ain't really. When you when you got to ask yeah. people for cigarettes, you tighten up. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm glad I bounced from that. You know, I'm glad I bounced from the drinking and you know, I ain't saying I can't be casual, because I can. Yeah. But I got a point to prove right now. So it ain't it ain't even about that no more. I, I don't I never had I, I was never I ain't never have a taste where I had to have a drink or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. It was always casual in um situations at the club or, you know, parties or get togethers, you know what I'm saying? So outside of that, um, just leaving it alone. Especially um that gas, leaving that alone. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, it was a challenge, but you know, like I said, man, once you put it in his hands, man, it's it's like butter, man. You 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 forget all about it like it never happened. No facts. Yeah. So how do you want your fans to connect with your music? Um, right now to connect with my music, uh, it'll be on all major platforms. With this first single, mm -hmm. um, I'm just starting, so. Don't worry, I'm gonna be trying to drop some every month okay. until the album come out. So, well, when um, I say connect, I mean like, how do you want them to feel when they listen to your music? Um, I want, I want to, I want, I want to inspire. I want to, I want to relate. Like majority of the time, pastors and um, people of big platforms, they have this impeccable image. Like they never did nothing wrong, and they never went to jail, and they did everything mm -hmm. they were supposed to do, and Man, I was from the streets. Like I, I, I done got in trouble. I was. Yeah. I, it's me and my brother. I got a couple brothers, but um, my youngest brother was closest to me. That we all lived together. He was the one never got in trouble, and I was the one I always got in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when we was even young, I used to always mess around to get in trouble right before my birthday. 
So now I mess up my little birthday gift, and he be sitting looking like, boy, you always doing something stupid. Yeah. So just moving forward, um, from going to jail and doing this and doing that, like I want to, I want to relate to the people. I want, I want to say, man, listen, you could quit smoking. I did it. Yeah, I smoked squares too, and I stopped. I did it. Yeah, I drank a lot. I was in the club every every, every day off. I was there. Even some days I'm at work. Let me tell you something. I did it so bad. I was at the club, lead the club, knowing I'm driving, be all at work on my last leg. Like, Lord, please just get me home after I finish this job. Yeah. Off the chain. So now, you know, I'm, I'm well more mature and a lot more wisdom I've been praying for. So just moving forward, I want to be able to relate to the people and let the people know from the hood and from the suburbs, you know what I'm saying? We all can vibe. Yeah. And, and when I ain't talking about holier than thou, but just 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 live accordingly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, just be aware. Yeah, be aware and um, be armed up. Yeah, facts. Yeah. So what made you not want to get a record deal? Um, I'm not saying I won't knock no record deal now, but at the same time, I mean, everything is different now. Like, yeah. that's not the major key how it used to be back in the day. Now you can really... And I just thank God that I didn't get one earlier because now God blessed me where I was fortunate enough to at least put a little something together where I can kind of build it myself. Yeah. And again, um, shout out to uh, Rose, man. Like, I like how him and um, Case 100, them boys, build their own brand. Yeah. You know, start their own label. You know what I'm saying? And um, like how Birdman, them boys did it. You know, I, I think I could do it and I want to do it and I feel like I'm going to do it on, on my own terms and uh, with the with the blessings of the Most High. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, who collaborations would you want to see yourself with? Oh man, man, listen, I love to get a track with um with that boy Yeezy. I mean, that um Jesus King was awesome, and yeah. it was another way of him showing me how he can take it to another level. Um, I would love to do a song with Jada Kiss. Okay. Rose. Um, definitely Case One Hundred. You know, get on we get on the same page, figure something out, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, cause he he he's definitely multi talented. Case one hundred is definitely multi talented. The man got different, different, different vibes oh, that that all sound good. So I'm looking forward to that too. And um, yeah, Rose, man, you know, Rose, I think that would, that Ross I, Ross Ross he, yeah. he he just always come with that. You know what I'm saying? That 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 um, what's that the heat? word? That uh. That Austin, that Austin music, yeah. that Austin Martin type yeah, of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he, yeah. He, I ain't gonna front. I ain't really like Ross like that at first. But when he started beeping with Fifty, I don't know. He got better for me. Like, so, oh, okay. For some reason. Like, <laughs> like well, his um, hooks, his bars. To me, speaking of Ross, let me tell you something. That every day I'm hustling. Yeah. That that it, it hit different because when you understand every day I'm hustling. That's how a majority of us from 305 be on, like, the ones that know how to get it from out the mud mm -hmm. and not lazy because there's some people that just lazy. But the ones that know how to go get it, that every damn hustling hit different. So yeah. th that was that was the real 305 anthem. So, you know, when it when it started making noise and went worldwide, I understood that because the yeah, people yeah. understood that. Yeah. And that's what I took in my same momentum, every damn hustling, you know. And I, I got my I got my own track called In That Same Type of Time, Can't Take No Days Off. So, uh -huh. okay. yeah, look around for that. And um, I ain't going to get y'all no more, but it's coming. <laughs> you know, I don't want nobody stealing my titles, but, yeah, nah, it's coming. Facts, facts, facts. It's coming. You got any artists on your label? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But um, I definitely got some people that I'm looking at. And um, to be honest with you, I ain't rich. So I'm trying to get myself together first. Okay. And um, once everything, once once the settle clears, you know, uh, I'm ready to grab on some people and, and bless some other people. And um, you know what? Speaking of that, it's a young lady I would definitely want to work with, and that's um Angie. Angie. She just started doing her thing, Miami, with um. She local her gospel. artist. With what she she started gospel music too. Okay. Doing her thing. Yeah. So shout out to Miami. That's the one that um did her thing on Love and Hip Hop. And okay, okay, she, I know what you're talking. Okay. Yeah. 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 She doing her thing too, and um, I got some for. Her. Okay, that's I got what's some up, beats for and all. Like we, we we gonna eventually work, but let me let me let me let me get the rocket started first. You know what I'm saying? So what got you into the producing? <sighs> um, a friend of mine, mm -hmm. um, he was doing it. 
Um, I watched him do it, and I'm, I, I always like to challenge myself. Like when I seen him do it, I was like, man, I think I could do that. And I ended up buying a, buying a beat machine, buying a keyboard, buying a program, and I made a little sum. It sounded good, and I said, okay, then it's on now. Okay. So, you know, um, I'm willing to definitely work with the, the with the greatest, you know what I'm saying? But I'm definitely – I'm. The more I learned about this, and uh, I'm gonna shout out the uh, Maserati Bud too. Okay. Shout out to that boy. That's that's family there. You know okay. what I'm saying? Good family right there. Um, he doing his thing with Fifty of them. You know. Yeah. And um, with that being said, um, he said something to me that hit home. He was like, "Bro, cause I wanted to write music, make beats. I wanted to be the the videographer. I want to record my own video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't do everything. No facts. He looked at me and said, "Bro, you need a team." You gonna obviously need a team, and yeah. he said, um, "You you can't be a a jack. You you can't. Well, I, I forgot the same jack of said. all trades. No, he said you'll be um like when you're doing too much things, but you you didn't master not one thing. Uh, okay, okay. You know yeah. what I'm saying. So just yeah. with that being said, he was like, just focus on something, and then once you master that, then you could go ahead and play with this, play with that. You know what I'm saying. But master something first. Get yeah. that one thing. So yeah. the writing part, I said, okay, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and tackle that. Okay. So what avenues are you taking when it comes to like marketing and promoting your business? Um, I'm still actually learning with that, but, um, um, I, I definitely know social media is one of the most biggest impacts that no, can nice. help me in this situation. And, um, are yeah. you out the trunk with it or how, I mean, how can people get your music? Oh, through all, all the social media, all the major platforms, Apple music, Spotify, like it's going to be everywhere. Okay. And um, they can get it there. And um, eventually, uh, speaking to you the other day, um, I spoke with my peoples, um, uh -huh. my team, and um, they said it's going to take four weeks for my website to get put together, but they're going to have something up for me by Monday. Okay. So before the release date, I have something up where they'll know how to find me, and I had that all in my social media. Yeah, you need that. Yeah. I tell a lot of artists, man, you got to have more – uh, social media than just Instagram. You know, everybody just focused on Instagram. Yeah. Got to have the TikTok. Got to have yes, the Facebook. Yes, yes, yes. The YouTube shorts, you know? Okay. Because the algorithms work differently on each platform. Okay. So you can't just always focus on Instagram. You gotcha, know? gotcha. Because you put it up, you about to blow. Nah, it don't work like that. It don't work <laughs> like that. I wish it did, but it don't work like that, though. Yeah, yeah, no, facts, facts. Are you prepared to deal with all the drama that comes with the industry, though? Um... The temptation? Um, with that being said, man, listen to me, my brother. I don't think it's nothing I can't tackle with the boss behind me. Okay. As, long as, I, as long as I keep him close now, that's the key. Yeah. That's the key. Because um, I done fell short before. Okay. And I understand the reason why. And that's that's when I started slacking. When mm -hmm. I slacked on the prayer, that's when them doors opened for me to fumble and fall short. So long as I stay armored up, like I said, um, I'm going to be like a tank. Okay. That's what's up, brother. So let me switch it a little bit. Okay, Are you talk to me. Married, single? Oh, I'm married. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm married. I'm married. I'm married. How long you been married for? Wow. My wife's gonna kill me. Oh. <laughs> you know, we be forgetting, man. Be like, ah, oh, damn. Oh, yeah. mm. It's been I, that it's, long. It's been over twenty it's, years though. It's been over twenty years. Really? Yeah, it's been over twenty That's years. That's awesome. How y'all keep it together? Oh man, let me tell you something. Twenty years? Yes, yes. Um, so y'all like high school loves? Yeah, I, I met her. I met my wife um, around high school time. Went off to college. Um, uh -huh. um, and then I ended up having my first daughter. Okay. Yeah. Um, came back home and um, then that was <laughs> actually when that scenario when I got pulled over and mm -hmm. we was in the courthouse. Um, my wife and my firstborn was in the courthouse with me. Wow. And we was the only three African Americans in the courthouse. Really? Yes. So with that being said, though, she she rode the wave through my goods and bads and my ups and downs. And that's why she gets spoiled for that. No facts. And um God on a marriage and um the key the funny thing was my youngest daughter now, I remember one day we was in the car driving and she was in the back seat. Mm -hmm. and she said, Daddy, when you and mommy gonna get married? Look back at her and I'm like, yeah, baby, we're going to get married soon, baby. And to be an example for my daughters, mm. it was only right. Okay. And the main key was to please the Lord. So, you know, at the end of the day, I could 
do what I want to do and um don't be frowned upon as far as adult activities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On that type of time. But um yeah, man, just it's awesome, man. God is good. No, that's um, awesome, brother, because nowadays the dating scene is crazy. Hey, you talking to somebody for 6 months, that's an accomplishment. Yeah, 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 yeah. And 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 you better be careful out here, you know. Yeah. You better be careful. So, you know, with that being said, we grew up together. Okay. We broke together. We a little more That's fortunate together yeah. and um hopefully we'll be um financially stable together. So no, facts, facts. Um, I mean, y'all come together, y'all been together this long. Yeah, it don't make sense. Dropping the ball now. Yeah. Um twenty but, years? Yeah. That's yeah. forever, ever. Yeah, 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 yeah. We 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 been through the ups and downs. It's just um again, God be the glory, man. You know, we be times I wanna quit and God always put somebody in the puzzle to kind of keep that glue together and as long as we have a, a momentum, I feel like we could run the race. Yeah. Yeah. I think lots of times when you see those long relationships like that, I think sometimes somebody outgrows the other person. Let me tell you something. It get like that and sometimes you'll feel like Man, I could do better by myself, man. I ain't got time for this. Yeah. But um, I feel like God put her for me and God put me for her. Okay. You know, I might be the one that need to motivate her a little bit more. Yeah. And push her a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Encourage her a little bit more. Let her know how fine she is. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And all yeah. that there and vice versa. So I might be more strong in this thing. She might be a little strong in this thing. She's yeah. definitely the stronger lover as yeah, far yeah. as loving these kids and being unconditional. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I don't yeah. play certain things. I'm going to cut up. No, we ain't doing that. And You know what I'm saying? But you it's know, a daddy part of life. Be daddy. Yeah, for, of course, of course. But yeah. you know what? That's what we lacking, though. We yeah. lacking the father and the mother holding no, it right. down. Because yeah. majority of the time. The black family. To me, I feel like people, at one point I say it's selfish. Because mm -hmm. you'll think, man, I'm tired of him. Oh, I'm tired of her. But it ain't about us. It's about them kids. And so do you think people should stay together for the kids? Because I don't, I don't want to agree Not necessarily, but. I understand it. It's not but, necessarily. Yeah. But I think that it's a better foundation when you got both of them. Because once y'all separate, now <laughs> if it's toxic, yeah. you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. But if it can work and. As far as I'm concerned, I ain't seen nothing God couldn't fix yet. As okay. far as I'm concerned. So okay. um, my best advice, if you got any kind of issues, um, pray on it. And, um, you know, God will let you know if it'll work or it shouldn't work, you know. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, that's who you lean on. You know, what do you think about therapy? Uh, I, I respect therapy. I honestly ain't never been to therapy before. Okay. Uh, I think it's it, healthy. I, I think so. I, I don't see anything wrong with it to, yeah. to vent because... If you think about it, um, the therapist that you pay money to mm -hmm. and some good people with a good ear is it, it almost works the same way. I don't I don't know how much the therapist talks back when you're venting. Yeah, that might be something I love to experience, but mm -hmm. um, I don't knock them. I respect them. Matter of fact, um, family done told me that it's good to go to therapy. So yeah. I don't I don't see nothing wrong with it. I, I think have it's no good to have a third party. That's healthy to see both. Yes. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yeah, I you agree. You know, there's always three sides to a story. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Absolutely. Yeah. So do you raise your daughters to wait till marriage? Of course. Of course. Okay. I, I, that's, that's, I stand on that. Okay. At the same time, <laughs> um, it's a whole nother generation now. and Yeah, these kids. Um, you know, my first daughter, let me tell you something. My first mm -hmm. daughter, she was my first. So I was a little hard on her coming up when we was younger. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I remember my mom look at me and say, Stack, that is not a boy. That's a girl. Like, ease up a little bit. So I yeah. was like, okay. And then, you know, I just learned how to finesse more. And my brother taught me, it's not how you talk to people. I mean, it's not um, what you say to people. It's how you say it. To you say. So the tone of voice plays a role and yeah. all that. So, yeah, I that I, you know, too. I... <laughs> it, it, it'll get it'll get it'll get lionish sometimes, but yeah, I, I yeah, learned yeah. to tone it down just so they could receive what I'm trying to say. Yes, the yes. majority of the time, it's always from a good heart. So yeah, yeah, man. Um, but my youngest one, she um, she pretty much be on point, and um, um, I just pray that she make all the right choices. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I mean, at the end of the day, I can't control them. Yeah. I just try my best to encourage them, and now lead my best by example. Exactly. So. So what do they listen to? Who they listen to? 
Um, uh, Uzi Vert. Uh, I, I, I can't remember exactly. I know, I know my oldest one liked it. Uh, NBA Young Boy at one point in time. I don't know. If I ain't never like heard none of his music. Um, but um, my youngest one, Raw Wave. Raw Wave. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, I know yeah. my, I know my oldest one like Raw Wave too, though. But yeah, he. I ain't he, never get. I ain't never. I don't like. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I ain't never really vibed to him like that. Yeah, yeah, but you know, the younger generation don't really vibe to what we vibe to. Well, yeah. majority, majority. Yeah, so yeah, you know, yeah. they they have their own lane and their own chemistry at this time. So it's different from what we was accustomed to. But no, facts. it is what it is. I just try to be more reasonable because I want my daughters to um be comfortable talking to me about anything. So no, facts, facts. I don't mind building a friendship. But I have to understand that I am a father and yes. I have to be a structure. And that's what I encourage my wife to do also. Okay. It's good to be their best friend, but you, you got to be a parent also. But I'm your parent, yeah. Yes, so not everything yeah. you going to like. Yes, yes, yes. Take that damn trash out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what's next for you, man? Where do you see yourself going with this? Um, Actually, I just wanted to knock it off my bucket list. And um, if I could relate to some people and they like it, and I love it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just want to try my best to lead by example. I know I'm not perfect, mm -hmm. but I'm just trying to do right as much as I could moving forward and, and lead by example. Or get a job or get a business or do something. You know what I'm saying? Do something with yourself and take care of your people. And shout out to all, all my peers that graduated 01. And with that being said, y'all check on your parents. You know, um, yeah. we don't get too old to go check on your family. Go, go, go by there, say hi, stay for 30, 20 minutes. Sometimes they keep you out of trouble. Yeah. As far as uh, the gentleman, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, with yeah, that yeah. being said, um, yeah, check on your family, man. Go around there and check on your mom. Check on your dad if they're alive. If they not. Uh, may they soul rest in peace. You know what I'm saying. But yeah. um, okay. that's what we need to do. We need to Bro, represent accordingly out here. I agree with you, brother. Yes, sir. Are you gonna be doing any performances? What's that? Um, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't get nothing booked yet, but um, I, I de I'm definitely looking forward to it. Like, I'm not scared of the stage at all. Now, okay. So, well, you do know. you think your message would hit like in the strip club though? Um, that's a great question. The thing is, I ain't got no problem dropping a song in the strip club. Uh huh. I'm just worrying about the criticism and the critique from you bringing Jesus in the strip club. I don't. Uh, I mean. <laughs> I'm going to drop it. I'm going to drop it like it's hot, and I'm going to speak the truth, yeah, you know, yeah, at the yeah. end of the day. But at the same time, I think it's a place for everything. You okay. know what I'm saying? So I would rather, you know, maybe a baby shower, uh, um, um, fashion show, or okay. a, a actual gospel concert or something, yeah. you know what I'm saying, or a show, because I'm, I'm definitely planning to put something together. When I speak to a couple of different investors, um, I want to put something together, put a show together for the people, especially back in my neighborhood. Okay, that right at dope. the park, put a stage up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Put the bounce house up. Call some vendors to come through with that good old food, yeah, and yeah, um, yeah. we're gonna have a good time. So I'm gonna definitely let you know when I put that nah, together facts, for sure. You let me know, man. I gotta come through. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, this was dope, brother. You know what I mean? You spit quick sixteen for us. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Let everybody know where they can find you at. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Stack Smith three hundred five. And also on Facebook at Stack Smith. Um, on YouTube, I got Stack Smith. See, that's bad. I don't even remember all that stuff because I ain't going to lie. It's like as soon as I kind of got keep everything. keep it all sync. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, keep it all yeah. the same. I'm, so I'm, I'm dropping at, it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But with that being said, though, it's because God works so fast. Yeah. Like, you won't believe a month ago, um, it was still just a blur. And mm -hmm. then before you know it, I'm already uploading stuff because something went um, unexpected at work where I had time home and that gave yeah. me the time because God just working mysterious ways. And before I know it, I started putting stuff together, got online, got all stuff in order as far as the business wise. And mm -hmm. before I know it, I'm, I'm calling you, telling you I'm ready and yeah. let's do it. And, do and you it. know, now I'm building this website and you know, everything coming fast, but at the end of the day, you know, you know, nothing ain't got built in a day. So no, facts. Um, I so just wanted people to know. Sorry, you're using your nine to five to fund exactly your career. Okay, exactly. All right, exactly. So when do you know when it's time to leave? Uh, when when um when them when them royalties come in and, and I see more <laughs> than what I'm making at work, then I can say, hey, uh, hey, boss, man, you yeah. know I appreciate you know I um I I, I got to let uh, God's calling take me to where I need to go at now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So you know with that being said, um, 
I'll work till I don't have to work no more. I and feel you, brother. Till I, I can take care of my parents. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. Ain't yeah. no wrong with that. It's earned income, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, um, I don't want to put on no facade. I want to let everybody yeah. know, look, ain't nothing wrong with having a job. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Some people some people do, some people don't. I yeah. don't knock nobody for what they do. Just be careful. You no, know facts, what I'm facts, saying? Facts. So, you know, with that being said, I'm, I'm blessed and fortunate where um, I can take care of my family and assist my parents and um and and help out others in need if I can if I can stand it. So yeah. you know, with that being said, that's what it is. And um all you artists out there, invest in your craft. You know what I'm Facts saying? Invest, invest in your craft. If you're trying to do something, people don't want no, oh well, let me get a hand out and look at and you know, some people might bless you, but when you when you bless them first, then you'll be surprised how you get it back. Gotta pay to play. That part. All right, brother. Yo, this was so awesome, man. I respect you coming on the show, brother. Hey, I appreciate you, man. I, nah, I no thank doubt. you, and uh, for, and and um, uh, more than likely, I come see you every time I got something new. I got to come see yeah, you. Yeah, we're gonna man, do you our throw thing. It to me, man. I appreciate you again, man. Yeah, y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Williams. I talk great, and we out of here. Yeah. <laughs>